Good morning. Praise the Lord. Today, 30th October, we'll talk about the real zeal for the Lord. 2 Kings 10, 16 says, Come with me and see my zeal for the Lord. Then he, Jehu, made him, Jehunabad, ride in his chariot. Here uh, we, we see Jehu talking to Jehunabad. Come with me and see my zeal for the Lord. Obeying God's command, Prophet Elisha sent one of his prophets to anoint Jehu as king over Israel. He was appointed by Lord God to destroy the whole clan of King Ahab and Jezebel and wipe out the Baal worshippers from the kingdom. Jehu was so enthusiastic in fulfilling God's command that he immediately started killing all his enemies. Then he went out to destroy Ahab's family. While he was traveling towards Samaria, he met Jehonadabad and since he was also against Ahab, he made him get into his chariot and drive ahead, making it clear to the people that Jehonadab was with him. He was the, uh, Jehonadab was the founder of the Rechobites who lived a monastic life and were greatly respected by people. Jehu thought that he would gain the respect of people if he were associated with a saintly person. It is very common among the people. Um, birds of the same feather flock together is a common saying, which uh, uh, see your friends and you can uh, see his character, some people say. So Jehu thought that he was with a saintly person. He would also be considered as saintly and people would respect him. We see about Jehonadabad, Jehonabad in uh, uh, Jeremiah 35, 1 to 10. God himself wanted to use his example among the Israelites. God used Jehonadab as an example among the Israelites. He asked Prophet Jeremiah to invite them into the house of the Lord and offer them wine to drink. In spite of the severe famine because of the seas of Jerusalem by the Babylonians, they refused to take the wine because they were told by their forefather Jehonadab that they should not drink wine, they should not grow gardens and never stay in permanent houses but dwell in tents. Jehonadab, Jehonadab lived 300 years before this incident. But still, his descendants followed his orders. It, uh, here God is talking to the Israelite and told them, The descendants of Jehonadab, son of Rebak, have carried out the command their forefather gave them, but these people have not obeyed me. The Rechobites followed the commands of their forefathers, who was a mere man, but God's people are not following his commands even after being warned. Such a pathetic condition. Jehu's fear for the Lord was temporary because it's written that he didn't, did not turn away from the sins of Jeroboam, son of Nebath. His zeal was short-lived, unlike Jehonadab's zeal which lasted even after 300 years and was commended by God. They even got a blessing that he shall never fail to have a descendant to serve God. We have to leave behind a good model for our children. We have to teach them what all God did uh, to us in our lives. And then they'll automatically turn towards God. Let's pray. Lord, we all think that we have zeal for you. But Lord, help us to follow Jehonadab. And help us to give this zeal to our children also, to pass it on to our children, Lord. Help us, Lord. In Jesus' precious name I ask. Amen. God bless you.